Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Russo and Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports. Uh, feels like, I, I want to say long time no see. Feels like we've been gone for a minute, but we've been uh, just kind of still working hard on getting the fantasy football podcast ready. Um, but we're going to be uh, trying to get back on track here and uh, start getting more videos out regularly. We're doing our first WNBA video, so really excited to start diving into the WNBA. We have four plays for you today. Uh, we're gonna be covering the slate on Tuesday, uh, Taco Tuesday on Prize Picks, July 2nd. Um, we've got, yeah, four plays. Uh, before we get into our plays though, if you haven't signed up for Prize Picks or Underdog yet, um, for Prize Picks, just use the promo code at the bottom of the screen and they're gonna match your first deposit up to $100. And for Underdog, use promo code BACKDOOR and they're gonna give you a deposit match up to 250 and they're gonna give you an instant pick em special, uh, discounted play to help you get started on your first slip. There's a link in the description if you want to uh, sign up for either of those platforms. And um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, we have a lot of fresh content on the way and um, some of these uh, pick them, you know, like uh, daily fantasy type videos, the lines move pretty quickly. So if you want to be notified right when the video drops, just make sure you're subscribed. And uh, if you guys don't mind, do us a favor and like the video. It just uh, helps support, the best way to support the channel helps us get in front of a larger audience. So. All right, so these are the plays we're gonna be covering today. Um, I've got two plays, I hate to say it, but I'm, I'm taking uh, Asia Wilson's under. I'm a big fan of hers. Uh, she's an amazing basketball player, but um, I'm gonna be, I think 11 rebounds is just a little bit too high. So I'm gonna be taking the under on that. And uh, we're getting it at 11 and a half on underdog. Uh, so yeah, 11 on prize picks, 11 and a half on underdog. We're taking the under on both of those. And um, Nalissa Smith, um, we're getting a, 21.5 points and rebounds. I'm taking the under on both platforms for that as well. What are you getting into, Jordy? Yeah, so for mine, I'm taking um, Alana Smith for over her 29 fantasy score on prize picks and uh, underdog. Um, it's just at 29.05 on underdog, so uh, let's hope she doesn't 0.5 us. <laughs> but um, right. I'm taking uh, Nefessa Collier. I'm going to say her last name like that, um, on prize picks for under 10 first half points. Um, and then uh, for my last underdog play, I'm taking uh, John Quell Jones. Hopefully that's how you say her name for over 18 and a half points and assists. All right. Sounds good. Well, if you haven't signed up for Daily Grind yet, the DFS Optimizer is an awesome tool that will help you cash more slips. Um, it's, uh, it's, it basically just does all the work for you. Um, it uh, basically uses AI and algorithms to locate discrepancies across multiple platforms uh, when it comes to daily fantasy sports. Um, they have a lot of different tools, but we love the DFS Optimizer the best. They're an official partner of ours. So if you guys want to check that tool out, uh, just use code BACKDOOR at dgfantasy.com. You'll get 25% off of your first subscription. So you can go a month, three months, six months. You can go all the way up to a year and get 25% off. Um, but yeah, the thing pays for itself. Uh, we, we love that tool. So if you guys want to check that out, there's a link in the description for that as well. All right, so let's get started with Asia Wilson here. Um, so yeah, I, I really like this under. Um, found this on the optimizer. Um, they actually, if you want, you can take her full PRA under 41 and a half. Uh, that's even more juiced on the optimizer. Um, but I'm gonna just go with the rebounds uh, because uh, she's only gone over this 11.5 line three out of her last 10 games. And then she has one game where she uh, actually hit 11 uh, back on, uh, um, what would that be? Uh, yeah, June 6th um, against Seattle. Um, so I think, you know, if anything on prize picks, taking it at 11, I think we have a little bit higher chance of a push, obviously, but I feel comfortable taking this under. And uh, this game has potential, uh, you know, a little bit of potential for a blowout. So if the aces get up by a lot um, pretty quickly in the first half, they might cut her minutes down a little bit, but it looks like her minutes stay pretty consistent at 34.3 minutes per game, just 2.3 fouls. So she's not getting in foul trouble. Um, but I just think that that number is a little bit inflated at 11 and a half and even at 11 uh, on the rebound. So I'm going to be taking the under. If we uh, take a look at the optimizer for, for this, um, if you're interested in it, they actually have Asia Wilson and Caitlin Clark combo as the best under to take um, on prize picks. Um, but you can see right under that, they've got the PRA there. So if you want to take that, you can take that. It's a 52.03% odds to hit the under minus 125. Um, but I feel better about the taking the rebounds under because Asia can just get after it with scoring. So um, the rebounds seem like more of a discrepancy, like a little bit of a, like, uh, might be a little high. I'm not saying she's not capable, but she's only done it three out of the last 10, uh, actually four, you know, she has the one push. So four out of her last 10 games, 
Um, so I have, a, I have a lot of different reasons why I think this could go under. Um, so DG has this at 51.45% odds to hit the under at a minus 124. And uh, you can see these platforms that have it up at 11.5. Uh, they're all minus 140s. Uh, there's one minus 130, but they're heavily juiced to go under. Um, so uh, feeling comfortable with that. And um, on underdog, it's actually um, just giving it to us uh, at the 11 and a half. Uh, they're just giving it to us at um, point, point 0.9 X, you know, um, so it's like just under uh, a regular full multiplier. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be taking that under. And then uh, if we get into uh, this Nalissa Smith play, I like this under. I think it's just a little bit high. Um, yeah, and, and this matchup is a little bit difficult. She's only cleared this uh, two out of her last five games. She's averaging 31.3 minutes a game, 3.8 fouls. So there is a little bit of potential there for her to get in foul trouble. She's shooting great from the field, though, 51% on 11 attempts per game. Um, but yeah, I just think I just think this line's just slightly too high. And uh, one of the reasons is like if you look at her average scoring here, 12 points a game, um, three straight games and uh, 11 points um, in that game against Washington um, on the 19th. The two times that she cleared this, uh, we have we have a little outlier here, um, no pun intended, uh, but um, one of the times she cleared it, she went for 21 points, which is uh, unusual over this five game stretch. Went, she went for nine rebounds as well, so she had a baller game. And then the uh, other time she cleared it, she went for her typical 12 and then went for 15 rebounds to clear it. So the matchup is not easy. Um, eighth in points allowed and sixth in rebounds allowed. So I think that I don't know. I'm feel I'm pretty feeling pretty comfortable, um, you know, between the uh, potential foul trouble, the outliers when she did clear it. Um, so I'm feeling comfortable taking this under. If we take a look at the uh, optimizer for this, they have this as the top play on Prize Picks uh, for Nalissa to take this under at 21.5. They have it uh, just under a 53% odds to hit the under. They have it all the way up at a minus 130, and um, we got a minus 125 on FanDuel, and then a minus 135 over here. Um, so everyone's kind of feeling like uh, this line, it's not that she's not good, but it's just this line just seems like it's a little inflated. So we're going to try to take advantage of that. Um, if you guys do want to check out this app Outlier, it's great for stuff like this. You can take a look at the, the game history. You can take a look at the head to head. Um, you can, you know, she's cleared that line eight out of her last 20. Like you can look at all this stuff. You got your matchup, injury reports, insights about the player. Um, let's see if Outlier has any insights for this play. They don't. But if you guys want to try Outlier, there's a link in the description. They're also a partner of ours. Uh, they're just going to let you try this app out for seven days. So if nothing else, might as well uh, get a little bit of uh, extra detail uh, when you're trying to vet your plays. If maybe you find something on the optimizer you like, you can go. We, we go straight to Outlier. You see us in every video. Um, this is our, our typical protocol uh, when we're vetting plays. Um, so, yeah, just go through that link. You get uh, seven days to try it for free. And I'm going to pass it over to Jordy to get into his plays. Sweet. Yeah, man. Um, so... I've got uh, on prize picks here. We'll go over Alana Smith first. I love this play. If you look at like the last uh, 20 games here, it looks great. She's gone over this 12 out of 20 times. Um, she's been kind of like crushing this line too. Um, over her last five, she's gone over this three out of her last five, but she just barely missed it by one point um, in this in that fourth game there. And then the other game, she missed it by like a couple, but. She's been killing it. Um, she's playing only about 23.4 minutes a game, which you know is pretty typical for like the WNBA um, and some of these players. So they get a lot of a lot of production out of their minutes in the WNBA because you know they don't, there's not a lot of defense being played. Um, but with some teams, some teams are really good at defense. But um, yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Um, you know, in the head-to-head, -head, she's gone over this in three out of her last five. In the head-to-head, -head, last time she hit it. Um, by just point two, so I think that's why uh, Underdog's trying to be sneaky with that 0 0.5 line, because uh, you know if she doesn't get basically uh, 20 29.6 here, she's probably in that range to miss. But she has gone over it like 31.7, 32.2. I feel comfortable about taking it on both, so that kind of covers both for her. Um, you see, in some of these games, she is getting 30 minutes a game too. Like it just depends, I think, on how how she's playing in that game probably. But um, yeah, feeling pretty good about Alana Smith in this game. So going to be going with her on both platforms for that 29 fantasy score. And we're just getting it at 29.05 on uh, prize picks there so, or uh, underdog. So feeling good about her. 
Um, and then this Nefessa Collier, I'm gonna say Col Collier. Um, we're taking her for under 10. Um, this was at 10 and a half, but I feel good about it at 10 as well. It's just a higher chance for a push. She's only pushed it one time or gone. She either goes under or over it, but she's gone under this line 11 out of her uh, last 19 games played this season. Um, she's gone under 11 out of 20. And, um, you know, in her last five, she's gone under three out of her last five. To me, it just looks good. I mean, it just depends on how fast of a start she gets off to. But even sometimes, like in some of these games, she's not even getting like her full. She's playing 16.5 minutes in the first half. Um, some of these, she's playing just a full 20 minutes in the first half. And, but in some of these, she's playing like 11, uh, 11 minutes, 15 minutes. So it just kind of depends probably on how she's playing. Because the games where she's getting like a full 20 minutes and a half, she is scoring a lot. So I think it's just going to depend. But the defense, third in points allowed. That's what I love about this play. Um, she's going up against a tough defense. Last The last three games, she's gone under this. She's gone for eight and nine in the last three games. She's only gone over it one time. So a very tough defense she's going up against here. Third in points allowed. So I feel really good about her staying under this here. So I'm loving that play um, a lot. Like I say, it got bumped down already just a little bit, but I do like it at 10. If it goes down to 9.5, I'd probably, honestly, swing the other way. I'd probably go over. But um, the 10 is, you know, I feel comfortable about that going under. So, feeling good about that. Um, over on uh, prize picks, I've got just one, uh, or i got like two just different plays here. Or sorry, just one now. I've got the Alana Smith fantasy score, but I've got John Quell Jones. Um, I hope I'm saying her name right. Um, for over uh, 18 and a half points and assists, um, she she's been killing this line over the, the last two games. She's missed it because she's had really bad scoring outings. But look at this. She hit this like what was that like seven games in a row? So she's gone over the seven out of her last ten games. Um, like I said, the last two games have been kind of crappy for her with the scoring, but she's gone over the three out of her last five as well. In the head to head though, the head to head looks a little tough. She hasn't gone over this one time against them, but her minutes have been really jacked up. Um, so, and like I said, over the last two games, she's just barely missed it, and one of them being Minnesota. So, I think uh, hopefully she can get it back tonight. It's a tough scoring matchup and tough assist matchup, but she's a really good player. So, I'm hoping that she can just get it back on track tonight and get over that. But she's averaging almost 40 minutes a game in some of these games. So, um, you know, I think the odds for her to just get the scoring going tonight are pretty high. So, um, feeling really good about her for over 18 and a half. Um, let's take a look at uh, Daily Grind. Uh, yeah, they didn't have any of these lines on Daily Grind for me. Um, I was hoping they would have the points and assists, but the points rebounds are juiced to go over. So if you want to just take a look at the odds and go for something that's on the books, um, her points and rebounds are juiced to go over, but I thought the points and assists looked a lot better. So I'm going with the points and assists, but that's the uh, four plays I guess I've got for you guys today. All right, and if you guys want to check out Chalkboard, they have WNBA now too. And uh, on Chalkboard, the nice thing is you can actually adjust your lines. Um, so if you think someone is more juiced to go over than what the line is, like you can just bump it up yourself and they're gonna give you a higher multiplier. You can also lower lines, get a lower multiplier. You just have way more freedom with Chalkboard. Uh, they have plays as low as a dollar. Um, it's It's been great. Uh, I've been loving it since they added WNBA and they're always running discounts. They run like six discounts a day. Um, constantly just giving, you know, bonuses uh, to uh, existing members. So if you guys want to check out Chalkboard, um, there's a link in the description. Uh, when you are signing up, just make sure you use code BACKDOOR and they'll give you a deposit match up to $100. And um, yeah, we've been loving it over there with Chalkboard. Um, and if you guys want to come check us out in our Discord, um, we've been having a, a really good time as usual. Um, guys have been really getting after it. Uh, covering esports, WNBA, uh, multiple platforms, um, just all working together as a community, baseball. Um, but there's a, a link in the description. If you go through that Patreon link, um, right now Patreon is just there to manage our subscriptions for our Discord, but we're going to be adding content to that as well um, for fantasy football uh, once we launch that, which is coming very soon. Um, but if you just go through the Patreon link, sign up, then you go into the settings, and then there's an option there to connect external apps. Uh, you can just connect your Discord and uh, it'll unlock all of our channels for you. Uh, if you decide to join us, make sure you hop in the community chat. Let us know you're new and we'll kind of show you around. Um, we've got uh, extra analysts in here too, Moose and Consul. Um, go follow us on X too if you guys have an X account or Twitter. Um, Moose is on there dropping plays every single day just for free for the uh, X community. Um, but yeah, we're very excited for football, guys. 
um, if you uh, if you're a, a dynasty player, we're going to be uh, dropping our first uh, rankings video uh, coming up here real soon. We got all of our rankings done, um, and uh, now we're just uh, basically you know making sure all the aesthetic and everything looks good for the video. Um, but yeah, we're going to be filming that very soon. And um, yeah, let us know in the comments if you guys uh, do play dynasty uh, fantasy football because we're fiending for it. We're so excited for it over here. Um, but we appreciate you guys. Throw us a like on the way out, and um, we will catch you in the next video. Good luck, guys.